five unsolved facts about the Great Sphinx of Giza. Number five. The Great Sphinx of Giza, commonly referred to as the Sphinx, is a limestone statue of a reclining sphinx, a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human. It is the oldest known monumental sculpture in Egypt. Egyptians believed that the Great Sphinx was built in approximately 2500 BC for the pharaoh Khafre. A number of abandoned objects, such as ancient toolkits, suggest that the Sphinx was originally intended to be an even bigger statue than it is today. Number 4 Though the Great Sphinx is now a drab tan color, the Sphinx may, at one time, have been completely covered in vivid paint. Remnants of red can be found on the statue's face, while hints of blue and yellow remain on the body. fallen victim to the shifting sands of the Egyptian desert several times. It wasn't until the 1920s that the statue would be fully excavated. Upon doing restoration work, the Sphinx suffered severe damage to the head and neck. sketches of the statue say it happened way before he was even born. The Great Sphinx of Giza is part of a number of different theories and legends. Some Egyptian scholars say that the pyramids of Giza are power harnessing machines that are meant to gather energy from the sun, sort of like an ancient solar temple. To this day, we are not completely sure what lies beneath the Great Sphinx of Giza. There are three passages into the Sphinx, two of them have yet to be explored. The tomb of Rorisius is located 95 feet below the surface, behind the back of the Sphinx. Geological findings indicate that the Sphinx may have been sculpted sometime before 10,000 BC. Over the centuries, wind and sand have eaten away at the limestone rocks that make up and surround the Great Sphinx. The body of the statue is around 240 feet long 
and 63 feet wide and is the largest structure created from a single piece of limestone.